Well, it's a nice park, isn't it? I'm actually in Cambridge today. I'm in a place called Arbury or Arbury, A-R-B-U-R-Y. I'm um, doing a 70th and I'm at a local community centre. I've parked up the rear uh, to load unload. No one's here yet. I just rang the organiser and they're five minutes away. And um, yeah, so there we go. Arbury or Albury Community Centre. It's about five minutes outside Cambridge Town Centre, thank God. Um, because Cambridge today will be a nightmare of all the sun's out, so all the tourists will be out. Everyone will be around the lakes and the boats and stuff like that. So today is just uh, just outside, which is great. Fantastic weather today, and this is where we are. It looks fairly modern inside when I peek for the windows, but yes. So it's the first of June, and it's uh, John 70th. And I've been dealing with his granddaughter, her, his granddaughter, yes, I've been communicating with. And it's a nice little quiet area, actually. It's Cambridge. A police van there. Well, me, Gov. The uh, car park's actually there. I've got to unload, load, uh, unload and move the car to the car park. Um, but it's a quiet road, actually. And there's a little park there. Those of you who don't know Cambridge, university town mainly. Um... In fact, I think uh, I've got a couple of videos. I think I've done a couple of weddings there at some of the colleges. Uh, not last year, I think the year before. <coughs> well, it's nice, quiet, the sun's out. I think there'd be more people, wouldn't you? But uh, no, they're probably shopping. But yeah, I'm parked up to. Got the car. And I'm waiting to go inside that door, I believe. And I've got to uh, move. And I'm loaded. The car park and come back. I can't see much trouble with the traffic. Actually, it took me quicker than I thought actually getting here today. I said about 5.30, it's about 5.20. So I'm just waiting now to get in and unload and um, find out a little bit more. Um, all my gear's in there. So I'll catch you a little bit later on. So now we're in the halls, all decorated. Um, tonight I've got uh, Can Party Bar 1 and the Can Party Bar 2, two of them. And for the first time, I think, ever, I'm actually using the foot switch. And I've set the colour, static colour to uh, blue. The reason for that is that I was told by the organiser, the granddaughter, that one of the guests suffers from epileptic fits, so it's epileptic. So I thought, well, there's no point in bringing in my normal lights. So that's why I've got the Can Party Bar 2s because this place is big enough to have uh, quite a lot of lights, really. Um, so I've got the foot switches. I said, I've never ever used the foot switches before. Apologies to the cable police. Uh, I tried to tie it all up to make this possible. I'm doing it as really possible. Um, so, cable police. Um, the plug socket is over there on the other side of the door. So it's just as well I put my mats with me because on this side of the room, there is no sockets at all. And there's a massive stage which has uh, not been used. Front there they've got uh, the balloons, gold balloons, yellow balloons, the 70th. It's uh, John 70th. And uh, this hall, it, it's just the aircon on. What I should do from now on is bring my fan because it's getting summer now and it's really warm in here and I just worry about the amp. But it's, they've put the aircon now. So yes, I don't know anything we're expecting, haven't you said. Uh, it's 11.30 finish. We've got to be out the hall by 12, one of them. And uh, yeah, someone over there with, with a multicolour hair do. Especially done for today. Someone with an afro, ginger afro. So it's a family event, that's John over there, the birthday boy. And uh, that's all I've got really. I've got my trusted uh, 4500, my uh, stage line mixer, my QSC amp tonight with my Wolfdales now. I put my Wolfdales on either side because over here that's a fire exit and I can't put my speaker here because it's a fire exit. Now luckily I carry extensions with me so I've managed to put one speaker on one side and the other speaker on the other side with the black screens and I've got a lot of cable on the floor. <laughs> I've tied it up I've got a lot of cable on the floor. I've got uh, one speaker cable, two speaker cables uh, and I've had some mats on me so I just place them down a little bit. Um, and a bit secure, I didn't bring any tape with me. There's kids obviously running around. But yeah, I put the speakers quite far apart. That stage is quite a long stage actually, it's quite high. 
um, I believe there's a socket on the stage, but there's a bit of a lack of sockets on the floor. Apparently, um, I was told this is where the disco sets up in this little corner, but I don't know. Um, but it's a fire exit here, so that's why I put these there. Uh, kids keep running around, so I've got it up set up with the black scrims. And I've got the LED DJ Metro Star Club. I told the girl that if this is a problem, I can set this to one. It's a nice big pool. It's been re redone in uh, January this year. It's been uh, refurbished, so the sign says, by the council. And the only thing is that bar is not actually in here. Bar is in another place altogether. It's uh, through a hallway. See that door where the kid's coming through? And through another door. So it's not actually in the same area. It's a different area completely. Uh, it's not a big bar area. It's a very small bar area, but still it's in a different room completely. And it's also a very warm day today, starting the 1st of June, so um, there may be outside, I don't know. But the bar is a completely different area. I've also, so I've just been informed, it's 8 o'clock, that that is a limiter. So I've got to watch out for the flashing lights, and it's a power, it cuts the power off. Now, that's behind me, so I don't know about it, but uh, yeah, so it's a limiter in here. And I've got to watch out for the flashing light, because it cuts the power off. I got free juice for John. Hit it! Hit it! Hit it! And what because he's 17? Hit it! Good morning guys, girls, YouTubers, subscribers, people who just happen to stumble across my YouTube channel. It's uh, Sunday the 2nd of June and it's uh, 10 o'clock, I think 10.30 in the morning. And it's a gorgeous morning, although it's particularly to get maybe possibly a bit wet, but who cares. So, uh, yesterday was Saturday the 1st and I did a 70th for a chap called John. Everything was organised by his uh, granddaughter, and it was a very typical family event. Uh, lots of little people um, running around. In fact, they were running around up to the end, and I blame the sugar. There was loads of sweets available, and we know what sugar does to uh, kids. Uh, well, I certainly remember what it did to mine, anyway. Um, I couldn't take any uh, dance floor action, as we all like to see, because on my booking form, I give, a people, I give people an option whether or not uh, they allow me to uh, take pictures or videos for marketing purposes, and on this occasion, uh, she ticked the box that says no. Most people don't even look at the box, but she made an effort and no. But, but I did take like 10 seconds of a video of, um, uh, what was it, Super Trooper? And uh, it was a couple of women uh, wearing wigs on the far end of the wall, uh, the hall where I was. I don't know whether or not um, it can be uh, visible to you when you look at it. But apart from that, a lot of kids running around, obviously don't take videos of kids. And um, being a slightly older age group, people getting up and down most of the time. The venue was refurbished uh, in January this year. Uh, it did have aircon and it um, worked very well. Uh, also, as I pointed out in the video, that I was told um, into the gig that actually uh, they had a, a noise limiter and it was a little light that was actually behind me so I couldn't see it. Uh, it did flash once as I turned the volume down. It's one of these that actually cuts the power off completely. Um, so I managed to control that. I was paranoid about it, I don't know about you guys, but when someone tells me the sound limiter, do get a bit paranoid about it. I kept on turning around to see behind me every time the song came on. But I think what it is that I didn't have the bass up a lot, and I think it's the bass that sometimes uh, knocks these things off. Uh, but it did start flashing, the light went flash, flash, flash uh, on one of the songs, and I obviously turned it down. Yeah, so not really much I can say. There's a picture, I've got a picture up of the cake. Um, it was designed as a little record player uh, with Beatles on it. Uh, quite a nice cake actually to look at um, and um, black and gold balloons were all over the place 
and um, yeah, it was a, a, a nice little gig. It finished at 11.30, it had to finish by 11.30, and uh, everyone had to be out the hall by 11.59. I actually left the premises at 10 past 12. Uh, the person that was locking up uh, was quite okay, she was quite chatty actually. Um, but everyone left the hall by 12. Um, I tried to get everything down as quickly as I possibly could. Um, luckily for me, uh, I, didn't have to, I didn't have my normal like tea bar and the lights on it, I just had the two cam party bars, which are pretty simple to disassemble, put away. Yes, so the camp party bars, if you didn't hear the video, I brought them along because I was told that one of the guests, one of the younger guests, does suffer from epileptic fits. So I made a decision and I told the organiser that of bring out some lights that are static. Now I could have brought some par cams and hang them on the bar and control them with the MS controller or preset them to uh, a colour, but I decided just to take the camp party bars. It said it would be a bit easier and a bit quicker to put up and a bit quicker to put down. I don't think it made much difference to uh, the whole atmosphere of the place anyway. The hall was quite a big hall really. Uh, where I was situated, um, on one side of the wall, um, I, was facing, I was facing the opposite side, but I had the speakers as you can see, on one end facing out, and that's where everyone was sitting. One of the negatives about this particular hall was that the bar, not only was it not in the same room, it was in fact through another area. It wasn't the biggest bar in the world, but we know what it's like people congregating in the bars. There was no television, so nobody could watch the, the football last night, um, which would be worse. But it was quite a nice evening, so um, people were obviously congregating outside, and they were congregating a little bit in the bar, and they were inside. But as I said primarily, there's a lot of young kids uh, running around as they as they do. And fortunately, there wasn't many there wasn't any accidents because you know what happens: kids run around, bounce off the floors etc. So yeah, so that was uh, Saturday the 1st. Next Saturday I don't plan, to, I didn't book anything next Saturday because I'm doing a wedding fair on a Sunday and it's not um, sort of local to me, it's uh, Junction 2 of the M6, it's just outside Coventry and I've got to leave a bit early so I, did, so, um, I kept the Saturday free. As far as wedding fairs are concerned, I don't think I'm going to do any more. Um, I've been doing wedding fairs for oh, since 92, 91, 93 and I have seen personally, I have seen the demise of it. But they all tend to be the same really and if I was a bride possibly visiting the various, the various venues, they're all laid out the same really. Someone, I think, personally I think someone needs to reinvent them. Now I know you get the big ones uh, like I did at the I Do ones and you get the national wedding fairs, they're slightly different. But when you go to the local, this is a hotel, this is a, a manor house type of thing. When you go to hotels, that sort of thing, they tend to be the same. I don't know what your thoughts are, um, but you know the money you can spend. And I've got, a, I didn't spend a full amount on this because it's to do with a, an association I'm uh, involved with, and it's pretty inexpensive. Um, the brides are coming through the door. Uh, I've registered with them. And um, I did one with them earlier on in the year in a nice venue. And this particular organisation do nice venue, do nice manor houses. But um, apart from that, I have reduced the wedding fairs over a period of time. I've got a bit more picky. Uh, what I've done over the years is gone to one, not only good, not bother. It's all about uh, a the organiser, how much money they spend on marketing it. It's all about obviously social media and stuff. There's no point putting a banner on the building. You've got to put banners all over the place. I don't know what you guys are thoughts about wedding fairs, but I think they need to be reinvented. Something needs to change because you walk, as I said, you walk into them. They're the same tables, photographers, the white linen, the photo booth, the disco, whatever. But they're all the same, and I think if you walk into them, if you're a bride, you probably see a you see the same supplies if it's the same area. So I don't know. Um, I don't know what the answer to that is, but I think they slightly need to be reinvented. Maybe more interact. Maybe if they had less supplies, but doing more. Maybe having a photographer wandering around the place taking pictures. I don't know. I won't say the disco being full blast, but I don't know. 
any faults, that'd be great. So, it's Sunday the 2nd, so we're in June already. In June already. And before you know it, and I'm not rushing time, it'll be Christmas bookings. Well, definitely six months from now, there'll definitely be Christmas bookings. So, um, yeah, so uh, the uh, video was really about uh, the equipment and location. Sometimes the locations are completely different. This was in the middle of a sort of, well, obviously, it must have been a, must have been a park at one time and had the limiter because obviously it was houses. When I walked into it, I was surprised it didn't have a limiter because it was surrounded by houses. But it was only later on that I was told. When I introduced myself to the bar staff to find out about last orders, do you want me to shout out? They never said it. It's one of the um, organisers, I think aunts, came up to me and said, did you know or was you told? No. And it made me a bit paranoid. Actually, I don't like doing venues with limiters. Um, if I know there's a limiter, I actually will pass by and I'll say no. Unless I know it's not working. Or you can plug it somewhere else, as we all know, with little tricks. Yeah, so that's it. Thank you very much for watching and listening to me rambling on on this Sunday morning. And I wish you all well, and um, until next time, press that little button. <laughs>